This is going to explain how sailing ships during the age of exploration came to the New World. They wouldn't sail in a straight line. They would use the Earth's weather to their advantage. From Europe, they would begin sailing south, even if their destination was North America. The Spanish would stop at the Canary Islands to get their last bit of supplies for the journey. The trade winds, winds at this area of latitude, move from east to west, assisting the ship across the Atlantic Ocean. They would not take the same path back because of course they would be fighting the same trade winds and they wouldn't go south because they would hit a place of latitude called the doldrums where there would be no wind and very hard work to get across the Atlantic. This is how they would return to Europe. Even if they were in lower latitudes, they would move north. In moving north, they would be assisted by two things. One would be called the westerlies, winds that flow now from west to east. The other assistance will be called the Gulf Stream. A, a, st a stream is a current, ocean current, kind of like a river in the ocean that helps, that moves from the Gulf of Mexico up the coast of the United States, but then makes a hard right turn at Cape Hatteras, North Carolina. This is why if you ever see a hurricane, which is represented by the blue dot, the Weather Channel will often say Cape Hatteras is the point where we will determine if the hurricane is going to continue up the coast and hit us in New Jersey or make that right turn out to the ocean. And that is how ships during the age of exploration would sail to the New World and come back. You can use this information in the creation of your map.